WABG, the Delta's leading news source. Hello and welcome to the ABC 6 News webcast. Well, a big business deal in the new year. An Illinois food service equipment company is buying Viking. Middleby Corporation buying Viking Range Corporation for $380 million. A Viking manufactures residential cooking ranges, ovens, and kitchen appliances and has been in business since 1987. Viking employs more than 1,000 people at four facilities in LaFleur County. A Middleby Corporation says with this purchase of Viking, it plans to expand in the residential sector. Middleby owns brands such as Turbo Chef, Jade, and Magic Kitchen. Viking founder and CEO Fred Carl tells the Greenwood Commonwealth the company will stay in Greenwood, but does expect a few changes as a result of the new ownership. A conference call between both companies is scheduled for Wednesday to discuss the purchase. Well, a new year means a new term for mayors in some Delta cities, and one Delta mayor is hoping for a second term. Greenwood Mayor Carolyn McAdams telling ABC6 she's planning to run again for the city's top job. McAdams, the mayor of Greenwood, since getting elected back in 2009. Right now, no word on who she will be running against, but the city will start accepting applications from candidates on Monday, January 7th. The deadline for those applications in order to run in the election is March 8th. Well, Bond is set for a Greenville man arrested over the weekend on a murder charge. Bond set for Rico Brown at $2.5 million. The 36-year-old recently surrendering to police Sunday following the Friday morning murder of Quincy Antonio Reed. Two others were injured in the shooting, leading Brown to also be charged with two counts of aggravated assault. The bond set by Judge Michael Pruitt. Well, in sports, Mississippi State's five-game bowl winning streak snapped New Year's Day with a 34-20 loss to Northwestern in the Gator Bowl. However, Ladarius Perkins with 85 yards rushing, pushing his total for the year to 1,025. The Greenville native, the ninth player in Bulldogs history to eclipse the 1,000-yard rushing mark in a single season. You've been watching the Delta's number one news source.